All right, in my last video, uh, I showed you an extruder option other than this one for the Ordbot. It uses a J-head, and there are several different versions. There's clones and this and that. The original J-head, from what I'm told, is available at hotends.com. That's the guy that made the original and all the improvements. His is the real deal. Everybody swears by them. I actually have one coming here to play with. Uh, this is a ceramic one I got from the Netherlands. This I like a lot. As I said in my other one, the ceramic dissipates heat really quick. And it doesn't get heat soaked <clears throat> with the 1.75 millimeter filament. Uh, the heat soaking in the barrel on the QUBD was a problem with PLA filament. It would cause it to swell or prematurely melt in the barrel. It caused jams and such. This one did a really good job. They have this in 3mm and 1.75mm version. The 1.75mm version, if you can see down the barrel, uh, there's a piece of tubing in there. What they did, and one of the fixes for the QUBD was to put 1.75mm tubing in it. Or 2mm tubing, actually, I'm sorry. In it to isolate it from the metal so it doesn't heat. This has a low friction coefficient. It's uh, a high temp. It's good to about 250, 260C, so as long as you keep your hot end at 240 or less, you're fine. When you get over about 245 or so, this starts to melt, and there's several problems with that. Once it starts to melt, it's going to get in your nozzle. The only way to get this out is to heat it up a lot and basically cook it out, or take something like a, uh, a thick needle and dig it out. So, and when I say cook it out, I mean you're looking at, you know, at least 300 plus C to get it out because it's not just going to fall out. But, you can replace it. I just got 30 meters of it I ordered on eBay from a supplier. I'll get the envelope and tell you. Looks like it came from... Uh, Guangdong, China. Huh. Anyway, I ordered it Thursday. Today is Monday. It was here. I was shocked. But, you know, I needed to replace the one in here because I was trying to print PLA filament at 100% print speed. <clears throat> you got to print slower print speeds with the PLA and 1.75 millimeter because if you don't, it does start to melt and cause problems or it gets soft and causes problems even in this design when I tried to print at 100% the print speed of this printer which this printer can print really fast uh, I started having problems the only way around that is to slow it down or turn the heat up so I was good on turning the heat up till I hit about 145 and then like I said once you get up past that much this starts to melt and when it does everything goes bad so I have replaced the tubing in that and I have just received this hot end. This is an all metal design from Trinity Labs. It's really nice. Uh, if you go to trinitylabs.com, you can actually see one that's better. But this is an all metal design. There is no plastic in this. This is three millimeter. Now they do have a 1.75 millimeter version they're coming out with. <clears throat> the all metal version, even the 1.75, I fear would have the same problem this does. It'll get heat soaked at some point and it'll soften up in the barrel before the hot end and that's when you'll start having issues. This is the three millimeter version and what I've done with it was the same thing you do with this or any other J-head. The one from hotends.com is a three millimeter version. They insert this in the end of it. They split it at the top and across. They spread that out and they put a a, uh, a keep like a nut a hollow nut in the on top of it to hold it down <clears throat> so what I did with this one I took this tubing slid it all the way down to where it comes all the way down to the tip of the nozzle cut it off flush at the top now the trick with this is and the reason there's a stay nut on the the hot end from hotends.com 
is because the pressure when you push down the filament in the nozzle when that melts it will it will push underneath this tubing and push this tubing back up and out it would do it on this one too uh, there's no nut on top to hold it as you can see <coughs> with this mount the hole at the top I only made the hole two millimeters so this the filament will run through it fine but it's a small enough hole that the tubing cannot push back up through this so this is actually my stop for the tubing it's a pretty nice design this is available off of Thingiverse so with this and this tubing I can now use this three millimeter uh, extruder for 1.75 millimeter I'm gonna put it on tonight and run a few test prints I look forward to using it really uh, the all-metal design should actually help with the uh, heat dissipation like I said the ceramic does a great job this one is about $65 it looks nice it's all metal the nice thing about this is I'm gonna pull the tubing out I got some three millimeter on the way I'm getting ready to start doing polycarbonate and polycarbonate requires 260 to 300c depending on how fast you print you can't do that with these type of extruders because even the three millimeter version has PTFE inside of it and the one from hotends.com it's made out of something called peak material and it itself will melt as well if it gets too hot the 40 millimeter fan that goes on the front of this will keep it cool on the outside for the most part if I keep this down to 230c with this on there I can actually touch the top of this and it doesn't burn me it does a good job at dissipating heat the metal one should be about the same way because with these fins cut in it and this being metal it should dissipate, dissipate heat quite well but anyway when I turn this up and start pushing polycarbonate I'm hoping that you know with this being all metal which it shouldn't have any issues at all I get the print I want out of it uh, in case you don't know what polycarbonate is, it, it's a high strength plastic. It's actually the same stuff that uh, bulletproof glass is made from, if that gives you any idea. <clears throat> I'm not saying you're going to print a 2 millimeter th thick piece of plastic and it's bulletproof. But it is the same type of material. It's translucent. The hotter you get it, the clearer it is. So that's what I'm going for with this and I'm going to use it for the 1.75 with the PTFE in it now they are coming out with the version that is 1.75 and no PTFE in it or with the PTFE in it they're going to do both apparently or should I say the Jolly Grim is going to do one that does both and this was a cold venture with the Jolly Grim to get this for Trinity Labs but you know, it's up to you all what you want to use. The hotends.com, like I said, he is the original apparent designer of the J head. And most of these designs are all taken from him in some way. You know, everybody's design now uses this little thing at the top. This is actually how you mount it. You're, it slides into a mounting groove right there, and they all mount that way. This one is slightly shorter than the than the standard uh, J head from hotends.com this one is roughly two to three millimeters longer than the one from there they all do a great job they all do what they're supposed to this one is fifty dollars I think I think it was like 55 shipped it come with a heat cartridge a thermistor you know everything you need it to start printing 1.75 millimeter so for the money this was not a bad deal i like this a lot when i found the metal one i had to have it because i need something all metal for other materials and this is my goal right here when the 1.75 comes out i'll get it just to play with it and see if it makes any difference at all but i can't imagine if you get this in a three millimeter version and you use the ptfe tubing with it I can't imagine you needing another J-head. I really can't. 
because you can run the 1.75 or you can run the three millimeter with it. You can take the sleeve out and you can run the high temp stuff in the three millimeter format. You can't leave this in and run the 1.75 high temp stuff because I need temperatures in excess of 260C for the polycarbonate. Well, guess what? That's going to melt this anyway, so that's going to go bye-bye. So you have to go with something that can handle the temp. The only way to do that is go all metal. Well, I hope this little bit of information helps somebody, gives them an idea of what they want to do. Thank you all and have a good day.